hi everyone welcome to you all in my another video and today's video is about again for if you want to market as a pharmacist and you are looking for a best country and uh, you can uh, move uh, in very low cost and there is no exam and it can give you high salary and it can you know further but the advantage to move to malta so i'm talking about malta and malta is one of the best country so far i make the video about especially for pharmacists so i almost make 200 videos for pharmacists if you want to market to any country basically if there is any scope uh, for a pharmacist so i already make a video and upload on this channel so you can go and watch my previous videos what were the country you know germany um, sweden uh, norway and um, australia uk canada uh, new zealand malaysia uh, singapore saudi oman so a lot of countries i already make the videos even i not remember the all the country names you know but here in this video i'm going to discuss about malta again and what is the advantage if you are moving to malta as a pharmacist you know and um, so uh, you know malta is very very small country as i told you uh, the population is just uh, uh, is like 0.5 million it's like uh, 5 se 5 lakh uh, just the population um, so and is the nearest country that the italy is there then then uh, turkey uh, greece bulgaria uh, romania you know so if you are moving to this country you can work uh, because this is a part of european union european union have uh, 28 countries there is a group so if you are migrating to one country you can work in this 28 countries you know how you can work because each country have their own provision i can discuss will be uh, later in this video So in my previous video I told you about Malta if you want to uh, migrate to Malta as a pharmacist so there is a three step first step that Malta is qualification recognition center you have they, they will see your degree uh, is equal matlab there are three steps hain uh, migration your degree will be equivalence you know they will check for then you have to go for your english requirement english requirement is very low it's just 6.5 overall but if you are migrating to other countries like australia canada us it will need seven each you know and in australia you need to further you know there is a point wise system you know and if you have eight and more then you can get more point there is a chance to get pr but in malta there is no need for there is no system for pr in this point wise system so it's very straight away and the system then third step that you have to uh, file your uh, 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 your application this is a multi pharmacy council and you, you you need to send all these document like police presence certificate a certified degree mark sheet good standing certificate pharmacy registration and certified of your uh, copy of your passport and you are important very important for the experience certificate if you work as a pharmacist and if you are a farm d then there is no need for to go for any internship or if you have any experience but if you are fresh here you do not do not have experience then further you need to go for 6 month uh, internship and the process is very very cheap so the that first step that multi qualification commission center you have to pay just just 50 euro and then uh, this for multi pharmacy council you have to pay about 64 euro so it is about you know uh, 130 us dollar so i can say it just you know uh, is uh, like 10000 around you know less than 10000 that total cost you know so now but it, this this whole process will take it of 4 to 6 months so it is a very fastest process so if you want to market to when you are looking to go a uh, very good country the malta is one of the good country for you why is uh, very good because because it is consider is one of the country in the european union so european union this is the same you know so each country have their own provision uh, to give you license as a practice as a pharmacist or doctor or nurse you know but uh, the visa provision will be the same so for example if you got your pr and if you are a citizen of malta then after that if you want to work in switzerland for example or you want to work in any other country then there is no need to get uh, 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 their visa you know you just need to be uh, transfer your license to that particular i have country. already made some video you know if you watch my previous video that is that is for sweden and uh, sweden and i, I make i think uh, belgian 
and uh, I make between ne Netherlands I already make, Poland I already make and uh, Norway I already make you know so all these countries and there is a two uh, pathways one is where those are from a European Union if you are study or you are living there you are citizen or you are PR holder in the European Union then for you direct entry in their particular country for example if you are in Malta and you are uh, their citizen you have PR and you are registered pharmacist in Malta and you want to now work in uh, in Switzerland or, or, or Germany or any other country so you will consider as a local you know you, you, you because you are in the system you know so you just there is no need to write again the exam in Germany or, or Switzerland you know so it, it's like just a transfer of your license to one country to another country it, 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 I can give you another example uh, important example here if someone is study in India and medicine or pharmacy and he is a uh, Nepal citizen so they want they have to give us uh, you know there is a uh, I mean there is no need for them to go any visa uh, to work in Nepal or Nepalese do not need any visa to work in India you know the so same like you know if you are in European Union there is no need for you visa just need to transfer you your license for example in India if you are working in New Delhi you are registered pharmacist in New Delhi and now you want to work in Tamil Nadu or Kerala or UP you know then you have to transfer your license. So same thing you have to transfer you know but you are an Indian citizen so there is no need for you visa. So same for you if you have Malta citizenship then you can move around this country. So these are the 27 countries basically right now you can work and live there uh, after uh, yeah, you know and because you know uh, earlier it was 28 countries because UK also part of European Union but last year onwards they discontinued there was some reason you know UK also was the, the give the main reason that the, the some of the poor countries in the European Union they come to the, the UK to work there to study there and you know just for, for treatment so you know so basically they are using uh, their resources you know that's why uh, they split and uh, 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 all those reasons so uh, here also the, the same thing there is a need you know if you once you uh, uh, move to Malta then you can move to any country Italy, Germany, uh, Denmark, Luxembourg, Poland, Spain, Slovenia, Norway, Lithuania, Iceland, France, Czech Republic, Belgium, Finland, Hungary, you know, Austria, Estonia, Greece, Latvia, Malta, uh, Portugal, and Sweden, Switzerland, so all these countries, you know. So my suggestion is for you as a pharmacist if you want to move. Um, Malta is one of the best. Last May, if you want to ask me that the suggestion, so I can say this is very good uh, for you to just go uh, to the Malta, don't think much, and just uh, to uh, get your uh, PR or citizenship. And then after some time, you, you, you if if you have a target to go to Switzerland or you have target to work in Germany, you know, because in Germany you need to learn their local language. Switzerland also the same thing because these are no, not the English speaking country. Malta is one of the country here. All the population because population is very low, it's just five lakh population. So they know their Maltese uh, population, uh, their language, and they also know the English. So uh, so the English speaker pharmacists easily can survive in this country and slowly you can learn if you want to go to Germany or you know or, or Norway you know and any country Switzerland so then Sweden so any country you want you, you, you can just learn the language and then further you can process your uh, uh, can do your, your process. Last time I told you that Hindi is a very easy process it is two main steps the first step is that your qualification will check that it is equivalent or not so if you have degree 4 की है या पांच या छह साल की है तो इक्विवेलेंट है मल्टी क्वालिफिकेशन के यू कैन वर्क दियर एज ए फार्मासिस्ट एंड इसकी जो जो फीस होती है जस्ट फिफ्टी डॉलर है उसके बाद आपको इंग्लिश रिक्वायरमेंट चाहिए साढ़े छः होनी चाहिए जो बैंड है जो आई का ओवरऑल होना चाहिए किसी में अगर छः है किसी में सात है किसी में साढ़े छः है तो इज़ ओके यू नो सो आपको इतना ही चाहिए और फिर आपको जो है मल्टी फार्मेसी कौन के साथ में आपको जो रजिस्ट्रेशन करना है इसका एक फॉर्म है ये मैंने पिछले वाले वीडियो में लिंक दिया हुआ है तो आप लोग वहाँ जा देख सकते हैं और इसमें जो है सारे जो डॉक्यूमेंट चाहिए और सिक्सटी फाइव को चाहिए और ये सारा जो प्रोसेस है चार से छः महीने आप कम्प्लीट कर लेंगे एक बार जब आप माल्टा में मैं आप सेटल हो जाते हैं एक एक दो साल के बाद 
फिर आप जो है स्विट्जरलैंड या जो है जर्मनी या आपको कोई और कंट्री जाना है तो फिर आप वहाँ पे मार्केट कर सकते हैं और प्लीज़ मेरे को जो है आप सब्सक्राइब जरूर करें इस चैनल को और आप जो कमेंट करके बताएं और कुछ इसमें कमी है या कुछ आपका कोई क्वेश्चन है तो क्योंकि ये जो आज के वीडियो मैंने बनाया हुआ है वो कल के एक कमेंट को बेस पर ही बनाया हुआ क्योंकि आप जब क्वेश्चन करते हैं तो फिर मेरे पास भी आ, मेरे को भी जो है टाइम मिलता है कि मैं सर्च करूँ क्या इसका आंसर किया है ना तो आज के वीडियो के लिए इतना ही थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो